the major component of a relationship of a, a faculty to a student is the death side crit critique, where uh, you sit down with a student, the student explains where they are in the process, a drawing or a model, and you make comments. And it's a very fascinating process because you're very quickly understanding what the student is trying to do. Um, and you have to select what criticism you can give that's going to be helpful for the next step. It happens very quickly. But it's an essential one-on-one -on -one process between myself and the students guiding the work through the semester. Perhaps uh, during the semester there are hundreds of crits, decide crits that take place. Um, often, if there's, uh, in this class there's 13 people, uh, I will try to see 13 people in one afternoon, and sometimes uh, uh, once or twice a week. So by the end of the semester, the student has received maybe uh, 20, 25 death side crits. So today you're seeing one of those. So uh, last time I talked yep. with you, I had um, this model uh, in that spot. Yep. And uh, I have the idea of, of creating a sort of wall, but um, making penetrations within it. And um, what I started to do was um, go from, from a very sort mm -hmm. of square form or orthogonal form to creating um, more nicer shapes and uh, just creating a stepping mm -hmm. here, for example. Um, we also discussed the, the idea of an alleyway mm -hmm. here. And um, the trees that are on the site right now are the ones that I put up um, sort of to figure out whether I want to cut down a tree or not or how I can work with the trees. And, mm -hmm. Um, you know me pretty well by now, and mm -hmm. you know that I don't want to cut down trees. No, nor should so, you. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I'm working to, to preserve them, and in this case, I, I, I cut into it a little bit. And instead of having an alleyway, I just I decided that I'd have a secret garden sort of in the back here, um, and then create a balcony in, in there. So. Um, mm. So that there'd be a sort of balcony here from the second floor. And, uh, and out here would be some, a secret garden sort of thing. And this idea of having um, mm -hmm. a sort of a, a arcade mm -hmm. um, would be present here as well. Would be, in, would be here also? Uh, here too. Okay. And here as well. Wait. And on one of my let's see. Um, I, was, I was working with that sort of idea and seeing how it can just flow mm -hmm. through the space maybe. Um, and so one of one of the ideas that this this model here this um, shape suggested to me was the idea of a footbridge just crossing that. And uh, since I'm working with elderly, um, I think it would be very nice to have a footbridge here, so that they won't have to go all the way down and then get another elevator or or take another ramp up. They can just cut across here. And since I'm thinking of having uh, a screen here or a, a sort of theater space out here for outdoors. Um, I could have people lining up here and looking in there or having screenings of films and things like that. I could have people, this would be another sort of seating area and we could have a speaker system or something um, fixed up there. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I feel, um, I feel sort of set on how I'm doing this. Something actually, a minor detail that was suggested to me simply from the shapes that I had um, was sort of having a lower window here. Mm -hmm. um, and since this is going to be my more private space, private building versus the um, and quieter building uh, versus a louder sort of um, more social space here, um, I like the idea of having those windows be right at the very bottom um, in that level. Which means that this is a two-story space? Uh, that would be one story. That but light's going down in below. Yeah. So in this, inside this, is there space? There will be, yeah. I, I imagine that being um, either the, uh, the, where the infants would be um, in my daycare center or um, just a place where people can go and sleep, mm -hmm. uh, children, elderly, um, and sleep. And 
I don't know, it's just the mind I touch, but just the shape that I had from that cardboard. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't match, I, I just put it in and, and I mm -hmm. realized that it suggested something to me really. Um, but the point is there'd be a, a, a slot of light behind that, or you're, or you're just getting light into this the level? Only, yeah, the, okay. only, the only light will be coming, the I natural see. light will be coming I in see. From, from the floor. Sort of. uh -huh. um, okay. That was a minor detail. Okay. But uh, in terms of, I don't know, penetrating sort of this, mm -hmm. this space, I decided I would probably include this tree into the actual building. Um, having people from the street level, um, this being mm -hmm. North Street, um, well, part of yours, sort of, uh, <laughs> the tourists coming mm -hmm. that way. This, um, I, I like the way that taking this out a little bit. Um, invited people in here and sort of showed them the way of how to enter this building, um, and including the tree. And, and here I have the same sort of concept that I could I could include this tree, the trees. Um, before before Tuesday, I hadn't um, put the trees in, and and I just sort of plunked all my my mm -hmm. objects here. But once that I put the trees, I started thinking, well, maybe I could do something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I realized that I would just lose the whole idea I had of mm -hmm. of relating to the street and having that right angle right mm -hmm. there. So you know, back. I, I see that the only solution for those trees would be to just include them in the building, create um, one of my ideas is to create a patio area. With, in that one, mm -hmm. that would be a patio area mm -hmm. for eating and things like that. And you, you mentioned to me um, creating a, a secret garden here on the left, mm -hmm. and the entrance would be ha somehow have, having to do with entering through here and going mm -hmm. through the building. And looking at these two trees, they it just was a gateway sort of to mm -hmm. enter into the space. Um, so I'm I'm imagining that um, that they will create a sort of gateway to enter in here where. There'll be a playground, some swing sets, um, tables for, I don't know, two elderly gentlemen to mm -hmm. play chess. Um, just these images I have in my head right now. And I I just imagine bushes right now separating that space uh, so that people walking by know it's there and then question, how do I how do I get in there and realize that they, they actually have a, the right to go in there because this is a public space. Um, so those are my basic ideas right now. If you, if I'm coming down the street for the first time, do you see me coming into this space or into here as the entrance? Well, I think this would be more prominent, and I think more more people will will enter into here at, at first, and mm -hmm. then find out what this is. This this is going to be the central space right. to my design, and yes, I. I think that I, I had to stick the wall out a little bit here because mm -hmm. there had to be a sort of way to invite people into this building as well, even though it's my, my quieter building um, for study, for um, sleeping and uh, taking care of infants, whereas here's the dining and the um, teaching kids more uh, creative arts, things like that. Um, so I am hoping people will enter here, but I do, I do mm -hmm. see that, that that is prominent there and mm -hmm. that maybe I should suppress that a little. All right, I got it. Uh, first of all, the evolution from this to this is very successful because I think you're starting to develop an architecture language in this, um, which needs obviously more work, but it's nevertheless, it's taking the rough form into something that's more precise, and I think it's good. The notion of a ramp that moves through this um, and across and over, which is a new idea since before, mm -hmm. is very powerful. Just so you know, the normal ramp is 1 to 12, and okay. this is probably not no, that. Not. <laughs> but that's okay. That's a handicap. That's not yeah. necessarily. Okay. Uh, but the notion of the ramp being the thing that moves me through this, mm -hmm. um, at least to a certain extent, I think is a very powerful notion. Um, some comments. <coughs> The idea that this is still covered and lights coming into this, I think is powerful. But I'm not so sure it's necessary to continue it uh, in the same way. For instance, okay. here it could be outside, this, this walkway, mm. or slightly covered, mm. okay. but not necessarily heated. So you'd have, uh, whereas this one might be okay. a heated space. So I could come in into a heated building and then I'm covered and I come out and maybe I go back into okay. it. 
as opposed to it completely being yeah. uh, covered as you show it here. And here, I showed it in section two. So right. Idea. Yeah. Well, so it could be that uh, you need, first of all, you need this continuity, which I think is very powerful, of the of the path through or the journey through the building mm. to hold together the, the, the pieces. So that's very positive. Then the question is the magnitude of it. And it mm. could be that this is overboard just a little yeah. bit and you okay. could draw back on it. Uh, at the same time, I think you very ingeniously have figured out a way of meeting this to this by making this little place for the tree, mm. which I think is terrific, and producing the little secret garden. But where I don't think it works is where you think of this as being covered. Okay. I think the building somewhere in here stops and you go outside into this space. Okay. And this guy, this little space, is to the street. This one is to the building. Okay. So maybe in there there's a bench or two so I can mm -hmm. sit on it. Or in fact, all along this might be benches as a public place. This is given over to the, to the uh, street. Yeah. The other is given over to the building. Okay. So you move in. Now, that brings me to the right, and that's why I asked you the question. You have a very uh, subtle but important problem of architecture, mm -hmm. and that is that you do have two entrances, really. There's this, which is very major, and there's this that's important for you, mm -hmm. but is not as major, probably, as this. That would say for me that because there's a directionality here that you're working with, that you need to make some forms. Can I do something yeah, with this? Please. You need to do something with this, not that necessarily, but something like that, that wrecks me into this space a little bit more forceful. Okay. Uh, even to the point where, in the most extreme, can I have a piece of uh, some toys? Yeah. This is extreme, but even to the point, I don't mean it like this, <laughs> even to the point where it says I come to this point and I'm directed into, slipping into the space here. Okay. At the same time, I can go in here, but this is probably the one that I think I'm going to go into yeah. if I don't know the building. So I think you need to pronounce that more. Okay. And I'm going to be leading up to something here because the directionality of this mm -hmm. could be exploited more than what you've done because there is this to work with, just as you've been working with that. However, at the same time that I say that, it seems to me that coming into this space with this wonderful ramp, which is a two-story or three-story space, I can imagine light slipping down alongside of it, uh, is also important, and even to the point where this ramp might have just slightly turned to pick me up. So I come in when I know the building, or come out, by the way. It's not only going in, it's coming out. Yeah. So I come in or I go out through this ramp that is a clear kind of definition. I talked to you every day about paths and places. This is the clear journey of a path moving through your environment and coming down into something. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is watch out here that you don't overdo it. Yeah. You need to get us in, mm -hmm. but you need us to get us in there even more. Okay. And you're not there yet in the sense that you haven't worked over there yet, yeah. so it probably will happen. Incidentally, I think it's incredibly uh, uh, sensitive of you to try to save the trees, and, and that's, a, that's a real plus, and not always very easy. Now, the form that you're working with in here, um, the forms, is terrific, except the next go around, you may find that this is not all glass, yeah. And for the kids, this is a daycare up here, mm -hmm. this may be a playground for them. Oh. And therefore, I can move out into that space from there. Oh, okay. And maybe it's... That. So it doesn't mean you don't do this. It may mean that at this corner, the corner is a good place, I go out mm -hmm. into a, a roof garden here for the kids. Otherwise, they don't have a place to play, or they might play down there. Mm -hmm. um, but they could still have a place here as long as it's protected, yeah. obviously. But it's a, it's a kid little hangout or a little <laughs> secret place, which is kind of neat up yeah. in the sky uh, if I were a kid. And you can look out and watch you people. And so. parties outside of the Yeah, <laughs> so there's a lot of um, privacy. Yeah. And as we said before, as you go up, things are more private. So this mm -hmm. makes this daycare for the kids very private mm -hmm. and almost like, uh, if you wish, they are uh, viewers of the street. They watch mm -hmm. people go back and forth. 
Now let's move over to here because I think that's important. My problem area. <laughs> well, it's not yet your problem area, but it's your problem area because you haven't done it. But I think there's a major uh, piece here, if I'm reading this right. Uh, this is still that wall, right? Yes. And the tree is here, right? And the other tree is in here. And there's another tree back here, right? Yeah. And, and then there's a little bit of a little Another little tree? Okay, good. And then there's a wall back in here. <clears throat> Two things that you might consider. You have this, the wall that we talked about, and then the opening I'm going through, and we talked about all this. And I'm going under, and I mentioned that we need to have some kind of a way of getting us, there's a tree in here, by the way, somewhere, into this space. All that's fine. And I'm above it, then, is this passageway that is coming to a point, and then either by ramp, in the same way, it comes down into this, and it would be interesting if there's a way you could make that ramp then part of seats, mm. which then re relates to your amphitheater, which is here, if you can do that. Um, so then I have a continuous experience coming down. If you can't make that happen, then maybe this ramp comes along across, and there's some major kind of spiral stairs like the uh, one over the memorial, uh, Star Drive, that gets me down and out into this space. Mm -hmm. Because this is really the center of the life for you yeah. and, and outside. Of it. This is inside. But the point that I wanted to make is that the building is, let me just move this slightly, is here. And you have this space that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. It seems to me still that since there's a tremendous notion here that there's a wall of different kinds that are coming along the street, mm -hmm. that we still might see something here that is not obviously nearly as opaque as this, yeah. maybe much lower, but is collected to this mm -hmm. in some way, so that the corner is not turned mm -hmm. drastically. Maybe this is low, maybe this is translucent, I can see through, mm -hmm. and then this becomes which is what I think you want, something of a secret uh, garden to hang out in, yeah. which is not necessarily connected to this, mm -hmm. or could be. Now, here comes the piece that I think could be interesting. If these guys, these trees, are here, then maybe this building does this, and this part is outside, mm -hmm. so that when I'm in this space, I'm laying, letting the trees to be outside, and I'm also providing a way of getting into this building or out. From the street or this would still be cut off? No, this would still be here. Okay. But all I'm saying is that in order to keep that tree, which you want to do, yeah. maybe it's part of this space. And it's also a way of making the transition as another entrance mm -hmm. or exit from this building into this space. Okay. As opposed to, which is what you were suggesting, which was to yeah. corral it or build something around it, basically, mm -hmm. and then hope that um, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's not going to live inside, by the way. Yeah. It has to be outside somehow. Mm -hmm. You could make a courtyard out of it, mm -hmm. but I think the, you got a bum pencil. I think the courtyard is, um, is too close to the other courtyard yeah. to make any sense. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of a courtyard here and a courtyard here, yeah. it might be combined. Okay. Now, in the best world, maybe this tree, if you're more accurate, the two trees, so that this is more of a tiny triangular chunk out of this, yeah. as opposed to the one I just drew. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, we have to see what it is. And then you still have that. Yeah. So now I have this kind of relationship mm -hmm. from this. And by the way, you, you said there'd be a hedge here, so now I'm saying there's some kind of translucent wall in here. Mm -hmm. I can see through, I can see people. Mm -hmm. They're playing chess, etc. But maybe there's something else in here. There's water, I don't know what, that acts as the focus of this. Mm -hmm. But because the trees are marching along, I'm putting another one here, mm -hmm. this space is marching into this one. Yeah. And then I'm into that. And by the way, even better, if I could figure out a way that I can, at this point, see right through this building, and out into the amphitheater. Mm. So then I get a continuous experience between the hardness, I'll say for the moment, 
of the amphitheater to the inside to transition into this very quiet garden, which might have water. I guess we talked about that yeah. before. Um, so there's different experiences mm -hmm. along the way. But they're all connected. Yeah. There's two connections that you got. One is the, the screen, we'll call it, along the street. Yeah. And the other one is your ingenious ramp that is moving through down and around yeah. into this. Now, tell me again, is this, I've forgotten, is this guy two stories, Billy? It'll be two or three, I'm not sure yet. Uh -huh. um, I, was, I was envisioning three because I was seeing, again, this yeah. sort of stepping. Yeah. I wanted to, to yeah. mimic that here, sort of an echo of it, um, and, and also mimic sort of the, the as a stadium, as an amphitheater. Um, but I'm, I'm, until I sort of tackle that, yeah. I don't know. Um, but I was envisioning three stories. I, I talked to you last time about hierarchy, and yeah. I was worried that um, I was missing out on on the hierarchy if the two buildings are the same sort of height. Um, so I might lose that, but maybe if if I can if I can emphasize this as being a central space, then that would be my hierarchy, and I won't need to. Um, well, what we talked about before too is that the the roofs. If it's a second story building, say, which is going to interfere with this thing coming across, so this mm -hmm. thing may slip behind it, could be seats for the amphitheater, and then there's seats down here also for the amphitheater. Mm -hmm. So that the side of this building, although it's got transparency moving into the space, but the side of that building is actually moving up mm -hmm. from the landscape, making a kind of a bowl shape. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very powerful because you're putting an incredible amount of. of uh, energy or um, activity on this. Mm -hmm. In other words, when we're all done, this is probably the place where you come uh, to have an event, obviously, but also kind of a meeting place. Yeah. This is a place uh, where, and the kids might play in here and run around. Yeah. This is probably the quiet place mm -hmm. uh, where they, as you said, play checkers or whatever. And it's wonderful. And in fact, maybe this even becomes more green in relationship to this. I'm worried somewhat of the sunlight, since most of the sunlight would be coming in through here. Right. Um, I'm, I'm also thinking of stepping it down towards this building so that maybe the sunlight could go right in that corner and, and enter into this space. Um, well, I'd be careful. I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. the, you're defining this space, and it does have t two good definitions. This, by having the wall up at that point, there's a slippage there, which is fine. Um, makes it more contained. If you start stepping it down, you may start to lose some of that containment. Okay. And this is different kind of a space than this. Yeah. I don't think this is uh, here, this backyard space, little secret garden is fine mm. that slips out. I'm not so sure that this one wants to slip out as much. But I would invite you to mm. take the model and a Luxo lamp or any light and follow the sun. Yeah, just one, that's, that's perfect, that's a sun. And follow the sun and see what it does because okay. the next step would be to consider if the sun, for instance, is coming over the building, then on this side of the, where am I? Am I, no, I forgot. The vent building, there might be panels that can divert the light down into here. Or if the sun is coming this way, there might be panels that uh, on the side of the building that's vertical that mm -hmm. can divert, bounce the light down, yep. we talked about. Um, I doubt you're going to get much sun down into here, period, mm -hmm. but you are going to probably get sun up above. So these panels, mm -hmm. or even, yeah, so these panels maybe are up here that are catching the sun and bringing it down. So there's another, uh-huh. So there's a whole other kind of design notion here that we haven't talked about. Oh, this is, this, this assume it's all done. Then there may be up around this building, which is, there's going to be a, a screen on this, right? But even above that, there might be panels that are bouncing light all the way around at a certain height, which is another form of architecture, sky form, actually. Yeah. And I'm catching the sun bouncing light down into what I think is your major place, this one. Not here. This is cool, green, 
shady, quiet. This is a live, light, hot, sunny, just the opposite. Yeah. But beyond that, and of course we should be using the sun as much as we can, beyond that, um, this is an architectural, con never ar another architectural continuity. So it's not only bouncing the sun, but it's, it's something else. I, I like the way that the, the site, or the, the way that this is laid out right now is, is sort of hugging itself. Like, this is quiet, here's mm -hmm. quiet, and then there's sort of the busy activities in the center. And it's, it, it feels like it's getting there, it's continuing a little bit better. So. I think the organization is just right. Okay. Um, the, the way you have filled it. I think the architectural language that you're starting to develop is the beginning. Mm. I would move on now quickly yep. to here. Yep. Uh, and I happen to know from experience that this ramp is not going to be as nice as you think. <laughs> it's just going to take a little working to make it yeah. work. But it's a powerful notion that the ramp is, mm. is an organizer. 